What's going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and my full-time job is selling things on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. Today is Thursday, September 10th, 2020, and yesterday, Wednesday, was my second best sales day of all time. I sold 14 items for a total of $873.17. So in today's video, we've got to get all 14 of those orders pulled, packed, and shipped out, so I thought I'd make a video and show you guys exactly how I do that. Before I really dive into this video today, I just wanna take a quick second and thank you for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. If you don't know me, my name is Josh. I go by Harry Tornado here on YouTube and Instagram. And again, my full-time job is selling things on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. So if you guys enjoy content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. This is my eBay inventory storage area. I have all my shoes on this wooden shelf over here. A lot of things in these lettered bins just to give me some semblance of organization. You don't really need a lot to have an organized eBay a storage area you just need to have a, a system that works for you something that tells you where things are listed and I'll explain that in more detail in just a second let's get into the first item we have going out today first item up is this Nikon battery charger I paid two dollars for this at an Amazon overstock store and it sold for twenty three dollars free shipping it'll probably cost about four bucks to ship out this is gonna be in the R bin and I'll show you why I'm covering up the buyer's address with my thumb, but right at the bottom where it says custom SKU, you see it says R. When you list an item on eBay in the item detail section, the very last option should say custom SKU. Anything you type in that field will show up right here on the screen in custom SKU. So R means that this item is in the R bin, which is over here. I ran out of space on my shelves. So I had to start stacking stuff on the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this stuff off the top and look in the R bin for that charger. So I see a charger right here, but I know I have two chargers in here. I found a Nikon and a Canon. So you just want to make sure that with items like this that are very easy to get mixed up, you're shipping the right one. If you were just reaching here and grab the one on top, that's the Canon, and you'd send the wrong item to the wrong buyer. So you need to make sure that, you know, if you have similar items in the same bins, make sure you have some way of knowing which one is which. This is the Nikon. That's the one we need. Next item sold is this pair of Doc Martens Chukka style men's boots. These sold for $44 plus shipping. I think I paid like $8.50 for these at Goodwill. With shoes, I don't use the custom SKU feature. I just put them all on the shelf. And when a pair of shoes sells, I just look for them. I'm pretty sure these are the Doc Martens right here. I don't think I have any others listed for sale. Yeah, these are the right ones. So I just pull them off the shelf and we're ready to go. Next up is this TaylorMade R9 driver. It sold for $70 free shipping. I bought a ton of golf clubs on Facebook Marketplace a couple months ago. Probably paid, I paid $350 for all of them. So I probably have about $15 in this particular club. And again, it sold for $70 free shipping. It's going to cost about 10 bucks to ship out. It's right over here. I'll show you guys later. I have like four more golf clubs, I think, that sold yesterday. So I'll show you guys how I ship these. It's not too hard. Next up is this Bose radio. I found this at Goodwill about a month ago. I paid $4.92 for it. It did not have a power cord, but I was able to find a power cord in one of my Goodwill mystery pallets to fit this unit. And I tested it out yesterday and everything works great. It's, a, it's got a few little you know dent there, a little scuff there, but everything's fully functional and it sold very quickly. I listed this yesterday and it sold like seven hours later, again, for $145 free shipping. I'm probably gonna have to send this FedEx uh, to make sure it doesn't cost too much. But it's only going to Kentucky and I'm in South Carolina, so even if we had to ship it priority mail, it still wouldn't be terrible. Next item up is this pair of women's Sanook sandals. My wife Haley found these at the Amazon Overstock store. We paid $6 for these and they sold for $39 free shipping and probably costs about eight bucks to ship out and they should be right here again the shoe shelf seems unorganized but i like it it's easy to just do a quick scan looking for the color of these shoes you know they're pretty pretty unique and it's pretty easy to find shoes with this method next item up is this wi-fi doorbell camera i got this at that amazon overstock store for six dollars and it sold for 59 dollars free shipping this one's also in the r bin over here uh, somewhere Oh, right here. Arbin, again, six bucks, really good deal. And this sold very quickly. This is one of the items we listed yesterday. Uh, so six bucks, sold in about six hours, again, for $59 free shipping. It'll probably cost about eight bucks to ship out. Next item up is this book, the publication manual of the American Psychological Association, seventh edition. I found seven or eight of these books at that Amazon Overstock store the other day, and this one sold for $29 free shipping, and it actually sold to a viewer named Karen. She said she needed this book for school or something, and she wanted to support me, and I think it was cheaper than her buying it elsewhere. I, I tried to make my prices pretty competitive. So Karen, thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoy the book. 
Next item up is another golf club. This this RBZ 5 wood right here. Again, this was part of that Facebook buyout with that guy I bought. I don't even know how many clubs, but $350 altogether, and I have about $15 in each club, $10 to $15 in each club. And this one sold for $110 free shipping, and it'll probably cost about $14, $13 to ship out. Next item up is this Xbox 360 Slim console. I got this at a garage sale three weeks ago, I think. I just walked up, and it was sitting in a box, and all I did was look at it. I just looked in the box, and the guy's like, give me $5 for it. I'm like... Okay, sounds good, man. I'm not going to turn that down. I got it home, plugged it in. Everything worked great. He didn't have any games, but it did come with all the cords and one wireless controller. I thought about separating everything out and listing everything separately, but I'm just in the mood to move move product, you know? So I listed this yesterday for $80 free shipping as a, as a big bundle, and it sold about three hours later. So pretty good profit on a $5 pickup. I got this Kate Spade phone case right here in one of our Goodwill mystery pallets. If you guys have not seen those videos, I'll link it up here i think that's the right side i'll put a link up here to the goodwill mystery pallet videos basically goodwill was just inundated with donations from the disease that's going around and they didn't have enough manpower to sort them all so they started just selling huge pallets of unsorted inventory and we were buying them for 40 dollars a piece for a while and then they went on sale and we got like 12 more of them for 25 dollars a piece so we opened one of them I guess about a week and a half ago, and this was one of the items inside. It was a $40 pallet of goods, and this was just one item in the pallet, and it sold for $19 free shipping. It'll probably cost like three bucks to ship out. So it made like half of our money back on the total pallet just with one little phone case. So these pallets have done really well for us in terms of profit, and the videos have done really well as well. So if you guys, I'm sure most of you have probably seen them, but if you haven't, again, link it up here in the in the in the card thingy, go check it out. Next item is another golf club. This is another TaylorMade RBZ 3 wood. Uh, again, part of that Facebook pickup, had about 15 bucks into it and it sold for $84 free shipping and this one will cost about $10 to ship out. And then another TaylorMade RBZ. This is the 5 wood, the stage, stage 2 5 wood. I don't know the difference, but this one is yellow and the other one was green. This one sold for $79 plus shipping. A lot of you guys have been asking me why I'm doing free shipping or how do I how I determine if an item should get free shipping or calculated shipping. And honestly, I'm just experimenting in the last like two weeks. I've just been putting free shipping on a lot of my items and I've seen an uptick of like 30 to 35% in my sales. Um, I'm not just eating all the shipping costs. Like if instead of selling this golf club for 70 for you know, $89 free shipping, I just sold it for 79 plus shipping and vice versa. You know, if I have a pair of shoes that I was selling for you know, $40 plus shipping, I'm just gonna increase the price to $49.99 free shipping and just see if that sells any better. Um, generally shoes are gonna be like a two or three pound weight on, and on average you're gonna pay like 10 bucks a pair. So I'm not losing money, I'm just putting free shipping. I might lose money if it goes to like California or something, maybe like three or $4, but I'm thinking that the, the sales increase that i'm seeing from offering free shipping is way outweighing any any loss i have on saying an item really far away so i'm not done with my experiment yet but i'll let you guys know in probably a whole like independent video about like what i feel about free shipping versus calculated shipping i've got a few more items that i sold on ebay but i also sold this pair of brooks running shoes on facebook marketplace i've recently been cross posting a lot of my shoes from ebay to facebook and they've actually been selling Usually Facebook takes like 5% selling fee on anything you sell on Facebook Marketplace that has to ship somewhere. But this past weekend, I think they either did free shipping or like waived the selling fee or something. So these sold for $45 free shipping uh, and I, I had to pay shipping. So I guess they just didn't take the selling fee this weekend. But I have been having a lot of luck selling shoes on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I think when you take eBay quality photos and post them on Facebook Marketplace, it instantly gives you an edge over the competition. So take some really good quality photos of your shoes, cross post them to Facebook, and I think you might be surprised at what kind of sales you get. I also sold one of my Support Your Friends posters to a viewer named Jesse. This sold for $14.99 free shipping. That's what it looks like. I have them all rolled up, ready to ship. Uh, but Jesse, thank you so much for the support. I will sign this poster and get it sent out to you today. Uh, I use these boxes, the poster looks like that rolled up, and I use these like poster board boxes that I bought. They kind of fold up into a long rectangle, uh, and they ship great. And then a viewer named Ashley bought some of my Support Your Friends stickers, the little two packs for $6.99 free shipping. I just keep them right over here. I should probably keep them more organized, but uh, my two packs are one black and one white. I uh, don't really know how many I have left. They're over there, but... Uh, these I usually just throw into a padded envelope with my business card and a thank you note and get them sent out. So Ashley, thank you so much for your support. 
I was reaching up here to get one of my business cards and I remember this sign that was sent to me recently. It's like a, a wooden like engraved sign with my, my logo, Support Your Friends logo. And this was sent to me by my friend Cole over at Creative Wood and it's and it's etc. I have such a hard time saying that word. Uh, but Cole, thank you so much for sending me this, man. I really, really appreciate it. He also sent me a coaster somewhere. I don't, I don't know where the coaster is, but I really, really like this sign, man. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Everybody go check him out on Instagram. I'll link his Instagram in the description of this video. So going back up here, I have these big postcards that just say Harry Tornado, like creativity, originality, positivity. And if somebody that doesn't watch the channel buys something, I use this to write a thank you note on. Uh, cause I don't want to tell them about my YouTube and, and Instagram yet. Cause I don't want them to get weirded out that the stuff they're buying is thrifted for two bucks, you know? Uh, so if somebody buys something that is a watcher of the channel, then I usually use that to write a note, but I also throw in this business card as well. Uh, that gives a more you know, detailed explanation of what I do. It has the little logos on there. Um, nothing on the back, but I probably should get this in this size and this in the, I don't know. I, I don't know why I got a postcard size and a business card size, but uh, I think just thank you notes in your packages regardless like even if it's just a post-it note is a huge help i've seen a, a pretty good uptick in positive feedback lately and i i don't know if it's random but it's also directly correlated with how many packages i've been putting thank you notes inside so i think that's a huge way to boost your overall feedback if that's something you're trying to do one last sale for you guys this sick batman t-shirt i don't want to unfold it because it's ready to go but i bought this for my friend flippy mcflipperson on instagram and i wore it once but it just doesn't quite fit me right so i listed it on instagram yesterday not ebay instagram and it sold to my friend uh your boy stones my friend chris stone that guy right there in that picture he has been a huge supporter of the channel for a long time <laughs> like over a year now so chris thank you so much for your support hope you enjoy the shirt when it comes to packing shirts and clothing are probably the easiest because you would just get a poly bag like this i think this is a 9 by 12 poly bag all my shipping supplies are linked in the description of this video in my amazon storefront uh, you just click that one link and it takes you to like an amazon store and it shows you everything i use for youtube everything i use for ebay uh, everything, everything I could possibly use. And if you buy any of that stuff, I do get a small commission of 4% usually. Uh, so if you guys are looking for any shipping supplies, any boxes, tape, tape guns, poly bags, be sure to check that link down below. So yeah, shirt, poly bag, take it, smash it, and you're good to go. Back to the poster. This is what the box looks like once it's all sealed up. I do tape one end, roll up the poster, put it in there with a business card, seal it up, and you're ready to go. So I switched to my head mount so I could use both my hands as I pack stuff. Next up is this Kate Spade phone case. I'm probably gonna, I have these poly bags over here that could probably fit it, you know, but it's just one layer of protection. So I'm gonna go with this poly bag, which you can put in sideways, and then you can kind of roll it up a few times. Oh, I need to put a thank you card in there. I don't know, if, I don't think this is a viewer, so I'm gonna use one of these. Just something simple, throw it in there. Then roll it up. Easy peasy. This is probably gonna go first class and cost like, I don't know, four bucks. Next up is this book that sold to a viewer. I'm probably just gonna put this in just this regular poly mailer. I don't think it'll need that much protection. A book isn't as fragile as a cell phone case. Uh, dang, I forgot the... <laughs> forgot the thank you card. This sold to a viewer. Thank you. Smiley face, bam. Because I opened it, I'm just gonna add a little piece of tape just so it doesn't come open later. Next up is this Wi-Fi video doorbell. It'll probably fit in one of these boxes. These are eight by six by four boxes that I got from eBay. I think these are like 54 cents a piece, depending on how many you order. I'll add some packing paper. Nope, it's not gonna fit in here. So we gotta move up to a slightly bigger box, which are these. These I got from Amazon. These are 10 by eight by six, and these were like 52 cents a piece. And this should fit in here pretty nicely. Yeah. A little bit more packing paper. Also, I'm unboxing everything up at the same time before I print the labels. So to avoid confusion, I like to take a small pen and just write something on the box that I'll cover up with the label later. So this is gonna say, um, I'll just put Wi-Fi doorbell. 
And then once we print the label, I'll know this is the Wi-Fi doorbell and then I'll put the label on top of that so nobody can see that. For the sticker two pack, I have these envelopes, which I actually got at that Amazon Overstock store. So that was a pretty good deal. Uh, I don't know the measurements. These are probably like five by seven or something. So I'll put the stickers in here and just so they don't get like squished, um because it's not a very sturdy envelope once they're in there i'll take one of my postcards write thank you on there and then put the postcard in there as well the postcard is a perfect fit so i guess this is a five by seven envelope and the postcard just gives it a little bit more rigidity so the stickers are less likely to bend next up our shoes shoes are super easy you get these boxes from usps priority mail shoe boxes uh, these are outer dimension seven three eighths by five and one fourths by fourteen at seven eighths. Usually just do five, uh, fifteen by eight by five on these. Close one end, seal it up. I'll take a little bit of packing paper, put it at the bottom. Take the two shoes, fold them like that. Drop them in. More packing paper. Drop it in. Thank you. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Hey Moe's, you wanna come inside? Okay, love you so much. Next up are these Sanooks. These are really, really lightweight, so they can probably go first class. I'm just gonna put these in a large poly mailer. Um, they're not fragile, you know, they're, they don't have, they're like slippers, basically. You don't have to keep their form, so this should be fine. Gosh, I always almost forget the thank you card. And you're good to go, first class. Probably cost like five bucks. Next up are the Doc Martin boots. I'm just gonna make sure there's no dust on them. They've been sitting on the shelf for a while. They look pretty good. And again, we're gonna use the Priority Mail shoe box. Same thing we did for those Brooks shoes. Seal one end. Close it up. Gotta write a description. These are docks. Then we got this Nikon charger. I don't want this to break, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and put this in a box. I wonder if I can fit one of these boxes. I got these boxes on Facebook and they are kinda complicated to use. Come on. Very complicated to use. It might fit in there. Yeah. That's fine. Just give it a little rigidity. We'll seal it up with one layer of tape. Maybe two layers, just to be safe. And that's good to go. For this Xbox, I'm probably going to use a large flat rate box. This is going to be able to ship anywhere in the United States for like $18 or so. Uh, I don't think it's going to be any cheaper than that, shipping it in a regular box. I don't remember exactly where this was going, but uh, I think this is going to be the cheapest option. So let's get it padded up. Ooh, this might not even fit in here. So this Xbox is only going to Ohio, not too far. So I'm gonna just ship it in a regular box. This is basically the same dimensions as that, just taller. Xbox fits in there great. Um, we got the padding on the bottom. I'm gonna wrap some of this stuff just in the wrapping paper here. And it should be good to go. this and then I learned this trick from uh, Commonwealth picker Kevin you just take it and cut down the middle and then you have perfectly lined up flaps I know a lot of people say I use a lot of tape, but I'd rather use too much than not enough. All right, so now it's time for the golf club. Now I usually use these Priority Mail medium mailing tubes. You can get these totally for free from the USPS. They'll send them right to your house. They come in packs that look like this back here. It's like a pack of 10. They'll send them straight to your house. But the problem with these is that they're only 36 inches long and this driver is like 40 inches long. So I've got to 
modify it a little bit here, but you can still use these boxes. Step one is you wanna make sure this is on the bottom. The red part priority is on the bottom because if you wrap it where this is on the outside, you're gonna to have to pay for express shipping. So make sure the express portion of the box is on the inside. I fold this little flap down like this, insert all of these things into the holes. And then I tape each one of those. Oops. Go to one end, close it up, and then you're going to want to put three pieces of tape, one over each angle. One that way, one that way, one that way. Then I flip it over, and then Dang, that's not gonna fit. Luckily, I have this box. My wife Haley bought a fiddle leaf fig from QVC and it came in this box. I'm like, oh, that'd be great for the next golf club that I sell. This box came in yesterday, <laughs> so that was great timing. So I'm gonna use this box to ship this one. I think the other ones are a lot smaller than this. They'll fit in there, no problem. All right, so basically I'm just gonna wrap the head in a little bit of bubble wrap because you don't want to get scratched or anything like that. Golf clubs are pretty resilient though. I mean, they're made to be you know played outdoors and hit balls with so they're not gonna break in shipping but you just want to make sure it's fairly safe um, yeah just throw it down in there you have to cut the box a little bit probably right here I'm put a little bit more bubble wrap over the or maybe just some packing paper. Just to keep that from moving around too much. And fold the flaps down. All right, that's good to go. Then we can go back to this box to ship the next cough club. This one should fit in this box with much more easily. Okay, so that's all the way down at the end. And as you can see, we still have some sticking out like that. And that's unacceptable. We gotta fix it. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna, oh wait, I have one in here that I've already cut. Hey Mose. We're basically gonna perform surgery. You need to cut basically one of the other priority mail, medium mailing tubes, like cut it and then add it to the end of this. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut off all these little flaps. And then what you're gonna do is figure out how much of this you actually need. So to cover the club, that's probably good. We don't want it to be like so close to it that it's like sticking out, but maybe like right there. Where'd my darn knife go, man? gum. All right, so I need about right there. So I'm just gonna need to cut it about right here. So you can toss that off to the side. You go right here. So then you wrap it around. You're probably gonna wanna cut off, I don't know, maybe you can leave it there. Yeah, you can just leave it. And then you just tape around it, making kind of like a little extension. box just make it nice and secure like that I think that's pretty good and then you can go in here and add a little bit of packing paper if you want just to pad the end of that golf club a little bit and then close it up you are done again the trifecta of tape one over each angle of the triangle And more tape as as needed. All right, I think that's good. Now for this Bose radio, there's not really a secret. I'm just gonna wrap the crap out of this thing in bubble wrap, put it in this box, use a ton of packing paper, and just go all out. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to save three or four dollars in shipping supplies and risk this hundred and forty five dollar Bose radio breaking. So anytime you sh you ship stuff like this. Just be very, very generous with the packing supplies. Make sure it cannot 
break. All right, so 150 feet of bubble wrap and 250 feet of eBay tape later, and this Bose speaker is ready to go. Again, guys, when you sell stuff like this, you have to factor in the cost of your shipping supplies because in order to ship this safely and correctly, you're going to need to use a ton of shipping supplies. So this sold for $145 free shipping. It's going to, I think, Ohio. It's probably going to cost like $25 to $35 to ship. Uh, it cost me $4.92 at the store, so I'm just factoring in the fact that I'm going to have to spend, you know, probably $10 in shipping supplies to ship something like this, but I'm still making a good profit. So don't forget, big items like this need a lot of shipping supplies. So we got everything packed up, the labels on ready to go, except this Bose speaker, because I wanted to try to ship it with FedEx. And if you guys look here, covering up the address, it's 18 pounds, 12, 12 ounces, which is pretty big. Dimensions are 25 by 12 by 17 and FedEx home delivery is only going to be $19.38. So that's pretty cheap for FedEx for sending, you know, such a, a large package going all the way to from South Carolina to Kentucky. Uh, pretty good rate. I think priority was like $37. So here's the breakdown from today's video. Everything we shipped out today was a total gross sales amount of $959.84. That's all the eBay sales from yesterday, the Facebook marketplace sale for the pair of shoes and the t-shirt that I sold, $959.84. After we take out our eBay fees, we're left with $773.51. Then we have to take out our total shipping costs, which for everything in today's video was $114.74. And, 70 cents. and that leaves us with $658.81, but we still have to take out our cost of goods, which was $100.67 for everything in this video, which leaves us with a net profit, net income pre-tax of $558.14, just from yesterday, not too shabby. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it at all, please remember to hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps me and the channel out a ton. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best and I'll catch you guys on the next one.